Hello everyone, and welcome back to the garden. Well, if you guys have been watching the garden update videos, uh, the last one I posted a little, just a few days ago, uh, it's time to pick the potatoes. The uh, plants have all died down pretty much now. I was waiting for a couple dry days. We've had a couple dry days now. You want to pick them when it's drier. It's just easier to pull them up, uh, easier on the skin. Everything is just, you know, it's just drier. So we're going to pick these potatoes and see how we did this year. I don't know. I've reached down and stole maybe two. That looked good, but we're going to see what happens. All right, so as you could see, these have grown all year. The plants have completely died off now. There's nothing more growing underneath. So if we had an even shorter growing season than what we have here in Minnesota, uh, and it was getting close to frost, I could leave them in right up until frost, but we still have a lot of warm days here and stuff, and we don't want our potatoes to start to rot underground. So we're going to take and pull these. The only ones I'm not going to pull over here was my experiment where I planted the store-bought potatoes in the ground. I actually didn't think there was going to be any of them because they, they spray those things with something to keep them from getting the eyes and sprouting. And it was at least a month after these popped up that these actually came up. These are still green, so we're going to leave these. It's only a few plants. But over here are all my whites. Over there are all my reds. And uh, we're going to pull these up. All right, so I'm just going to be digging these up with a shovel. I wish I had a potato fork. That would be nice. But I only think about getting the potato fork once a year and that's the day that I dig potatoes and then I don't have to think about it till the next year so <laughs> it's always with the shovel. All right, so that's our row of whites right there. And uh, you know, for a 40 foot row of potatoes, that's really not all that many potatoes, but that's that many more potatoes than what I had. And it's interesting because this side of the garden, because of that tree right there, uh, the back side of the garden in the morning doesn't get quite as much sun. And if you see, as I went down with these whites, a little bit less potatoes. Also, a couple of the plants down here died off, where up front they, uh, more of them lived, so I did lose a few. But anyway, that's quite a few potatoes, and now I'm going to dig up the reds. All right, well, there's all the reds. Not too bad, got quite a few potatoes. So 
Now the next thing that I'll do is I will lay them out on the tar for just a couple hours here, and then we only got a few hours till dark. Let them dry a little bit, and then I'm going to pick them up, bring them inside to the workshop, lay them on the concrete floor down there where it's just going to be cool, it'll be dry, and it'll be dark in there, and then they can cure for a while before they can be stored. All right, so now you've seen all the whites and the reds, and now a couple things that I learned here. I had a roll of reds right here, Pontiac reds, and I had Canabec whites here. Side-by-side side rows, you know, 30 inches, I think they were 30 inches apart. Anyway, the reds were way more susceptible to insect damage. I found a couple of the, I call them cutworms, or the big old, yeah, I don't know what they are, just the big old, um, oh, like a caterpillar type, but anyway, they ate them. There's a few insects holes in some of these where the whites were pretty clean, so that's kind of interesting. And one good thing now is, now that the potatoes are out of here, I'm going to come through and I'm going to till it really deep and I've had the rabbits all year and the goats and I'm going to take and when I clean out the barn the manure goes in there as well as the straw and everything like that I'm going to lay it thick in here and till that down real deep you know, try to get a good 10 inch deep and that'll really aerate the soil and it'll sit in there and it'll have a couple of months we really won't be frozen here for I don't know three months or so so it'll you know but that last month nothing's going to happen because it's cold but at least the first two months here now, that stuff can sit in there and rot. Uh, the weeds that are still alive in the straw can try to sprout up and I can till that under. So next year when I come in here, if I do potatoes, and I think I'm gonna do them in the same area simply because I'm gonna change the soil so much here. It'll really be a fertile soil, it'll be a looser soil so more potatoes can grow. I'm gonna do that with the carrots too. I always get short carrots and I'm gonna really do the same thing there now that I've picked those so we can see how it is next year. So. Anyway, all right, that's enough on potatoes. Thanks a lot for watching. We got a lot more stuff to pick. <laughs>